back to the instrument mixer. Um, and as mentioned before, you can have as many instruments as you like in a performance preset. But to keep it simple, we'll start with a single instrument. So I'll just reinitialize from the performance loading panel. Um, so here we have one instrument on the left, <clears throat> master, master strip on the right, the most basic performance of all. So right at the bottom of the strip, we have the instrument name, uh, and you can long press on that and call up the panel to rename it. Give it any name you like. I'll call it my instrument because I'm very boring. Uh, and uh, above that, we have the transpose for the instrument, layer transpose, the instrument transpose. Uh, you can drag that or you can tap on it. Any, anywhere where you see a green number, you can tap on it and you can normally drag it or the dial above it. And you can type in how much you want, how many semitones you want to transpose by. <clears throat> transpose in layer works by, starts at the layer level. Uh, you have the transpose in the layer strip. That is summed with the transpose in the instrument strip, which is then summed with the transpose in the master strip. So all three transposes are added together. Um, above transpose, you have the instrument volume. Blimey. <laughs> and uh, I don't know if you heard that police car whooshing past us then. Um, if you um, assign volume is defaults, the instrument volume defaults to MIDI channel, MIDI CC7, the volume uh, MIDI control change. Uh, and you can see me wiggling it on my master controller here. If you have lots of instruments, it's probably worth um, mentioning here, all on the same channel. Let's put them all on channel one. Uh, um, and you send uh, a control change, volume control change to the that channel, it will adjust all of the instruments relative to each other. Uh, worth knowing that. So um, wherever you save the performance at, that's the level of the volume. That's the maximum level of the controller. Uh, and if you move a control and move a volume in an instrument, that becomes its maximum. So the next time you send MIDI controller to it, it, it goes to that level. Um, so this is quite useful when you've got instruments on different channels. Uh, so if we have an instrument on channel two here, we can mix channel one and channel two using our remote controller. Uh, anyway, I'm rushing ahead of it myself here. Well, it's just a useful tip to know that. Um, so above volume, there's the solo button. Uh, solo is used for soloing that instrument. So that will solo the, the instrument with all its layers and mute all the other instruments in the performance. Uh, and uh, you can uh, you can solo groups of instruments. So you can sort of toggle solo on and off any any instruments you like. Um, <clears throat> above solo, we have the voice mode button, a control, which lets you select mono, mono legato or poly for that instrument. Uh, and you can have um, you can mix and match as much as you like within a performance. You can, some instruments can be on poly, others can be on legato. Uh, above that, we have the MIDI control. Uh, where the MIDI channel selector, where all is um, omni, and you can again you can drag the uh, MIDI channel. <laughs> supposed to be able to drag it. You can drag the MIDI channel, um, uh, or you can tap on it to enter a name, a number. <laughs> um, MIDI channels in layer are coded, color coded. Uh, and that color is used quite a lot all over uh, layers interface. Above MIDI channel, we have the audio output, the auxiliary audio output selector, um, where main is the main stereo mix. Uh, any instrument can be routed to any one of the eight auxiliary outputs in, um, but if, that's only if you're hosting layer in an interrupt audio host. <clears throat> um, the audio unit uh, at the moment, at the time of making this video, only, only routes to its stereo mix because there aren't any hosts that can 
that can um, cope with uh, multiple output audio units. Hopefully that'll change in the future. Uh, above the uh, audio output selector, there is the key span editor for the instrument. Um, come back to that one in a minute. Uh, and above that, the load and save buttons for the instrument presets. You can also export and import from these panels as well. Um, so that's an instrument strip.